Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do an after dark reading. This after dark reading is for Divine Feminine versus the Karmic. So, today is Monday, February the 13th. So, my after dark reading hours is from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. So, um, I go by Eastern Standard Time. So, collective, if you don't live, um, go by Eastern Standard Time. Then you could apply the timing, you know, how you want to apply it. Um, but I'm just letting you guys know I go by Eastern Standard Time. Also, keep in mind that um, the Divine Feminine Energy could also resonate with the, a Divine Masculine. A man who's in his Feminine Energy, if or when the energy manifests. So, this reading could also be for a man. Um... So, also keep in mind that the karmic may or may not be your karmic. And that's why the karmic could be a male or a female. And keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So, this reading can manifest after our hours tonight. It can manifest later on down the line of time. Or this present after dark reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So I did get messages during the pre-shuffle. So let me get it because I had to write them down. I didn't want to forget. So the messages that I got was somebody is running away from the karmic because the karmic is promiscuous or the karmic is trying to get away from um, that type of karmic behavior being promiscuous the karmic is broke or somebody is broke because of the karmic somebody is moving after their hours tonight or somebody's going to be moving soon and somebody is heartbroken because the game is over so the karmic could have been playing a game with somebody it could have been mind games um the karmic could have been cheating on a lover juggling and um some type of game is over um and somebody heartbroken because it's over. And it could be the karmic or whoever was playing games. They're heartbroken because something is over. I also picked up the energy that somebody's going to find out after their August tonight or maybe tomorrow for Valentine's Day that somebody don't trust them. So somebody might be honest tomorrow and find out that somebody don't trust them. Um... I also heard that um, I was guided to use this deck to pull a message from the stars for you. I heard comfort. So, collective, this message might give you comfort for you, for Divine Feminine and or the Karmic. I heard comfort. Um, comfort. And I also heard concerning the scoop deck, because um, I'm going to use this deck too. Something could be going on with, like, gold or jewelry. And it could be pertaining to Valentine's Day. So, I, I don't know, but that's the way I got the message. So, concerning this deck, something could be going on with some jewelry or gold. Um, and it could also be pertaining to Valentine's Day. So, something could be going on after dark hours tonight. And it has something to do with jewelry or gold or um, pertaining to tomorrow. For Valentine's Day or something. Alright, so let me just go ahead and jump right in. Um, I don't mean to say collective, I mean divine feminine. So, um, this is for divine feminine versus the karmic. And I'm going to also do a, a quick love portion. I'm going to do a, um, a glance into, I'm going to just pull one card or whatever, something more than one card might fly out. I'm going to take it pertaining to tomorrow, Valentine's day. So we're going to, I'm not going to, uh, elaborate on it. It's just at a glance. Something, you know, I'm going to just pull a card or two for Valentine's Day. All right. So, what's the line from this angel number for after dark hours tonight? All right. So, we have 000. zero, zero I am a creator. So, the line from this is your energy after dark hours tonight. So, the line from you could be in the full energy, the full. Um, the line from you could be uh, Aries or an Aquarius. Don't have to be. But this is a lot of zeros. 
So Divine Feminine, you could be taking a leap of faith after dark hours tonight, some type of creation or something. But it say you are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. So Divine Feminine, after dark hours tonight, Spirit wants you to know that. Your angels want you to know that. You have the ability to create something new. And incredible in this lifetime here on earth. All right. So the angels want you to know that after the hours tonight, divine feminine. So um, whatever you're creating, it might not happen to you later on down the line of time. This could be two years from now, 10 years from now. Um, but something significant about after dark hours tonight, divine feminine, um, spirit, your angels is emphasizing that you have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. And I just heard, don't you forget it. So divine feminine, some type of idea might come to you after dark hours tonight. You might get an idea and you might think it's just an idea. All right. All right, what's the promise, angel number? <clears throat> okay, I'm, I already heard it. Divine Feminine, this karmic be pulling cards on you. Whoever this karmic is, Divine Feminine, the karmic is aware of this. And since the karmic is aware, Divine Feminine, the angel's making you aware. Because this karmic be pulling cards on you. Or some type of um, some type of divination to see about you, check up on you, spy on you. And Divine Feminine, what this karmic might try to do is do something before you do it. And that's why the karmic having a hard time with being a pioneer. Yeah, I heard as soon as the card came out. Divine Feminine, this karmic is in like a secret competition with you. And this karmic be pulling cards on you. And they know something, Divine Feminine, that you probably don't know. Or Divine Feminine, maybe you, you're aware of something. But this karmic want to compete with you or they be spying on you. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so it's a independent, oh, divine feminine, this karmic be stealing your ideas. So divine feminine, you might want to keep something to yourself after dark hours tonight. You might tell this karmic something and the angel's going to make this karmic go sideways. The karmic might try to steal your idea, divine feminine. So, Divine Feminine, say like you told the karmic earlier today that you was thinking about doing something. But you told the karmic, yeah, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to do it next year. Or I'm going to do it next week. Divine Feminine, the karmic wanted to start working on it like now to like get to something before you do. So, it say independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve your life Your life. You, a life you desire. All right. So the karmic could be having a hard time with some type of independence and self-sufficiency. Um, oh, okay. So the karmic don't really like this energy. Divine Feminine, maybe the karmic want to depend on you. The karmic wants to leech onto you or the karmic is like codependent on you or something like that. So the karmic could be having a hard time with some type of independence. Yeah, this karmic, a creativity muncher. Some type of independence and self-sufficiency. It's not really a necessity for the karmic. So this is the type of energy the karmic likes. I do what I got to do. If I got to steal your idea, I steal your idea. I claim it as mine. If you don't get to it before me, then that's on you. I got to do what I got to do. Yeah, this karmic don't really keep... It's not a necessity for the karmic. Or divine feminine, this karmic don't mind, like, being dependent on you or something. The karmic is having a hard time being extremely capable in life and work. And the karmic could be afraid to take big, big risks to achieve their life, the, the life they desire. All right, and I'm gonna keep came out sideways. I'm no, nah, I'm gonna put it in the upright. But the karmic energy came out sideways. So the karmic's angel number is nineteen. The karmic is either having a hard time with this energy, 
or the angels put the karmic sideways to keep the karmic from stealing something from you, divine feminine. Yeah. So this could be like something as simple as divine feminine. If the karmic go try to do a tarot reading on you, it's like the karmic is going to get an inaccurate tarot reading or the karmic is not going to understand the reading. Like the karmic is going to misinterpret something or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's the mind from this angel number? What's the mind from this angel? I mean, message from the stars after the hours tonight. What's the mind from the message from the stars? It say you are your greatest gift. Your life's journey is your masterpiece. Yeah. Y'all, something going on with creation, creating, being a creator. So the mind from the that's what the stars want you to know. You are your greatest gift. Your life's journey is your masterpiece. All right. What's the karmic's message from the stars for after dark hours tonight? Miracles happen. Give the, the, give the universe your clear intention. Yeah. The karmic is not a, a, a manifester. Um... The karmic is not a manifester. The karmic is not a magician. Um, manifesting don't come easy for the karmic. Um, so the stars want the karmic to know that miracles do happen. And the stars want the karmic to give the universe their clear intention. So the right family, this karmic might come to you and might give you their intention. And the right family, you might have to tell the karmic to take that out of the universe. So the right feminine, I don't know if this karmic depends on you. Yeah, this karmic, it's like this karmic don't mind being codependent or something like that. Or this karmic don't mind stealing from people or something. But it's like the right feminine, the, the stars want the karmic to know that they can get a miracle as well. Miracles happen. Or... It's like divine feminine. You could have recently manifested something, and the karmic could be suspicious of you, and that could be the reason the reason why the karmic is getting readings on you. And the the stars is telling the karmic, divine feminine didn't do no type of dark magic or nothing. It was a miracle. Divine feminine was manifesting. It was natural. It was a miracle. So the stars could be telling the karmic, give us your clear intention, because that's what divine feminine did. So the wife feminine, this karmic could also be suspicious of you. They think you do dark magic or something. Yeah. Yeah. Cause this karmic having a hard time with something, being a pioneer. And the stars is trying to help the karmic. Yeah, so the karmic probably need encouragement a little bit. The karmic need to give the universe their clear intention. And it's just say intention. So I'm also hearing the karmic needs to prioritize. The karmic needs to have something in order. Or the karmic needs to, um, what you call it? Um, like have one target. The karmic could be scattered. The karmic could have a lot, like a list of things. The karmic need to narrow something down. Because it's say a clear intention. So that's just like one. Like narrow, the karmic needs to narrow something down. Or something like that. So I'm seeing in the cards, um, it's like the universe could be considered as the fine print. It's like the karmic can have a contract in the ethers or some type of contract.
But the universe is like the fine print. Or something like that. The karmic needs to learn about the fine print of the, of the universe or the karmic needs to know the fine print about manifesting or intentions or something like that. The fine print. Or divine feminine, you're like fine print to the karmic, like the fine print. Divine feminine, you could be um like very difficult for the karmic. The karmic finds you difficult or like hard to understand. Or something like that. Yeah. Because it's say you are one with the creator. Divine Feminine, after dark hours tonight. Divine Feminine, this karmic find you difficult. Um, You're like, um, you know how people, like when you get into contracts, people usually don't read the fine print. Um, So Divine Feminine, this karmic feel as though it's something about you that's unnecessary. Or something. Or this karmic could be underestimating you or something. Because in this card right here, it's like, it's wording right here in the card. It's wording, but it's like fine print. I can't even, I'm a, it says something, but I can't really read it. I probably got to go get my glasses. And the other, um, the other cards in this deck don't have that in the corner. It's like something written in this card. It's, it says something in the corner of the card. Right there. But it's real little. It's real small. Yeah, these other cards don't have that on here. But this card do. And this card, number 17, you break that down, that's the 8. Oh, yeah, it is another card. Oh, yeah, some of these cards got something written on them. Yeah, some of them do. But I'm picking up something about the fine print of something. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, your message from the stars is you are your greatest gift. Your life's journey is your masterpiece. And, um... So, Divine Feminine, I'm hearing you got something down packed that this karmic could be struggling with. And the karmic finds you suspicious, Divine Feminine. Or this karmic want to like feed off you instead of doing the work instead of reading the fine print it's like divine feminine you probably read the fine print the karmic don't want to do that so it's like they just steal your ideas or something like that yeah so the yeah and the karmic's message from the stars is miracles happen give the universe your clear intention all right so what 18 minutes so let's see what's going on. We're going to get a glimpse glimpse concerning what's going on in, um, for Valentine's Day tomorrow. All right. Give me a glimpse for Divine Feminine for tomorrow for Valentine's Day. Let's, give me a glimpse of Divine Feminine's Valentine's Day for tomorrow. I also heard during the pre-shuffle, some of you guys already have your um, Valentine's Day planned. Okay, play hard. So, Divine Feminine, that's a glimpse of your Valentine's Day for tomorrow. So, you might find time to play, goof off, and enjoy each other. So, Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, um, you're not going to be alone. You're going to be playing hard. That's just a glimpse. All right, give me a glimpse of the Carmen's Valentine's Day for tomorrow. Give me a glimpse. Ooh. Okay, children, and Spirit told me this card was going to come out. I heard it going to preach of children. Um, but I thought it was your energy, Divine Feminine. But it's coming out in the karmic energy. But I heard that during the preach of um, Children and acceptance. So, children are important to this partnership. Everything happens for a reason. So, this is a glimpse of the karmic's um, Valentine's Day tomorrow. So the karmic could be the karmic might find out they're pregnant tomorrow. The karmic might conceive tomorrow or get somebody pregnant. 
Um, the karmic could also have like stepchildren. Um, the karmic might have to adjust to having stepkids. So maybe the karmic just wanted it to be their lover. The karmic could have kids by their lover, but the karmic's lover got kids by somebody else. And it's like the karmic's lover might go get his kids. And it's like it's the karmic's kids and then the karmic's lover kids. So the karmic might have to adjust to being like a step parent or something. It say children are important to this partnership. Everything happens for a reason. So the karmic needs to accept some children or something concerning love and romance. So the karmic might have to accept their lover's children, their lover's other children, or um, the karmic might find out they're pregnant or something tomorrow. Something to do with children. Or the karmic could have had plans for Valentine's Day, but it might get ruined because of something to do with children. So, I don't know. The karmic's child might get sick. In the, I don't know. The karmic's Valentine's Day plans might get ruined because of, because of children. And it could just be telling the karmic that's just a part of parenthood, being a parent. Or something. Children are important to this partnership. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. So, something going on with children. Um... For the karmic, that's a glimpse of the karmic's Valentine's Day for tomorrow. Concerning after dark hours energy for tonight. It might not happen because energy, it can change. So, pertaining to tonight's energy, that could be what's in store for you guys tomorrow. So, let me pull a message from this deck, too. Give me a message for Divine Feminine for after the hours tonight. Give me a message for Divine Feminine. Angel of Time working too hard. So, Divine Feminine, you or somebody else could be working too hard. Some of y'all might work third shift. Or divine feminine, you got a deadline to meet for tomorrow or something. And you might be working on it after dark hours tonight. All right. What's going on with the karmic? Give me a message for the karmic. Oh, this is somebody else. Somebody working too hard. Faceless ghost and a haunted girl. Ghost people. Divine feminine, I'm hearing, if you're wondering what's wrong with somebody, this is why. Divine Feminine, this is what's going on with this karmic. That's, the karmic could be working too hard because the karmic could be haunted. This karmic could be very superstitious. Um, hold on. Yeah. Um, yeah, this karmic, um, the karmic could be doing like a lot. Like a lot of rituals. The karmic could be doing a lot of protection spells. I saw like um some bracelets. Like the. I saw a green one. On somebody's wrist. It could be like a protection bracelet. Um, This karmic doing something. But they working too hard. So this karmic could be scared. The karmic could be trying to do protection spells. Something this karmic doing. And I saw somebody with a green. Um bracelet um yeah this karmic um is haunted this karmic could be interacting with these ghost people these ghost people could be in the karmic's house driving the karmic crazy or the karmic could be intimidated by somebody or divine from the this karmic think you a ghostless person a, a faceless ghost or something Divine Feminine, this, for some of y'all, this karmic um, is suspicious of y'all. Um, this karmic thinks you got an entity attachment or um, this karmic consider you a faceless ghost. Or Divine Feminine, you could be working real hard to keep this karmic out your energy. 
Because this karmic could be either very superstitious or this karmic is paranoid or this karmic care too much about the opinions of others. This karmic could also, um, this karmic cares too much about their image. It's like this karmic got their hair done, got their makeup on. But it's like, this is the type of energy of like, this karmic like schizophrenic. Like something wrong with them. Or this karmic can have low self-esteem or something. And that could be the reason why the karmic working too hard. Or it's like Divine Feminine, you, be, uh, you could be working hard to stay away from this karmic or something like that. Or Divine Feminine, the karmic um, could be trying to keep up with you because you could be working too hard. And um, these faceless ghosts is telling the karmic that they she have to compete with you. Or these faceless ghosts is telling the karmic something wrong about you. It's like this karmic feel the need to, um, like, compete with you or something. Yeah, these faceless ghosts could be telling this karmic the wrong stuff. <clears throat> and then we got a time for spirit. Give me a message for an angel of time. Give me a message. Yeah, angels are protecting you. Yeah. Divine Feminine, angels are protecting you. Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, I'm picking up that angel that working too hard is your energy. And for other you guys, I'm picking up this the karmic energy. Divine Feminine, this karmic is doing something. This karmic could be doing protection spells. This karmic for this though, they got to protect themselves from you. This karmic could be doing death rituals on you, competing against you. But it's like Divine Feminine, the angels are protecting you. The karmic could be working very hard to um, bring you down. Or to steal something from you. Or something like that. Or the karmic could be trying to call up these faceless ghosts. Or something. Divine Feminine, you're protected from this karmic. Because it's like this karmic is haunted. And wants you to be haunted, Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, I think this karmic... Um, this this working too hard could be this karmic's energy. And you're being protected from that. Um, or divine feminine, the karmic could be trying to make you hurry up and do something. Or the karmic wants you to tell them something. So they can like steal your idea. Or something like that. Or divine feminine, this karmic done did like a reading or something on you. And it's probably not the time for you to manifest something. And the karmic trying to get you to manifest something that's not in divine timing. Yeah, so this karmic could be um, trying to get you to work too hard. But it's like Divine Feminine Angels are protecting you. You move at the pace and speed that you know to be right for you. Yeah. Give me a message for this faceless ghost and a haunted girl. I heard it again. This karmic is all about image. But it's like this karmic is like... This karmic could be schizophrenic or, um, this karmic is not as, uh, this karmic could be insecure. Not only are you a miracle, one is on his way to you. Yeah. These faceless ghosts could be driving this karmic crazy. Um, and maybe... The um, spirit want the karmic to know not only are you a miracle karmic, but one is on the way to you. So, I don't know. Maybe the karmic feels worthless or... Yeah. I ought, Yeah, do not worry. Divine Feminine, for you or the karmic, um, I also, 
also see divine feminine these two energies is the karmic and these messages is for you because the karmic is in this energy so it's like divine feminine the karmic could be working too hard or trying to get you to work too hard or the karmic is doing mad spell work or something against you and the cards want you to know divine feminine that angels are protecting you and not only are you a miracle one is on its way to you so it's like divine feminine this karmic could be being pushy in your life and it's like divine feminine you move how you want to move you don't have to move according to this karmic standards and this karmic is like insecure or this karmic schizophrenic no yeah, it's like divine feminine. This karmic could be trying to boss you around or bully you. And it's like they're not even mentally stable. And this karmic want to tell you what to do or something like that. This karmic under pressure, so they want to put you under pressure. Yeah, something like that. Or divine feminine, this karmic wants you to hurry up and do something so they can reap the benefits of something. Yeah. Or oh, this karmic need encouragement. Yeah, this karmic could be under attack. <laughs> yeah, that karmic probably needs some type of encouragement. <clears throat> Excuse me. This karmic could really be schizophrenic, though. And no faceless ghosts could be could be telling the karmic that they have to steal from you. Um, if them faceless ghosts could be telling the karmic, if the karmic don't steal from you, then divine feminine, you gonna steal from the karmic. They could be telling that karmic that. Or the faceless ghost is telling the karmic to stay, to like, stay with you, divine feminine. They can't do nothing without you. Them faceless ghosts could be telling the karmic that the karmic needs you. There are nobody without you or something like that. This karmic, it could be schizophrenic. And that's what them faceless ghosts be telling that karmic. And it's not true. Or they be telling the karmic to steal from you or you're going to steal from them. Or they got to do something before you do it or something. Them faceless ghosts telling that karmic. All right. Yeah, we got the son of happy, happy family. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, you probably have a happy family after the hours tonight. Or Divine Feminine, this is this is the newness that you might create in the future. It could be a it could be a family. It could be a family. Maybe even a marriage. Divine Feminine. And then we got victory. Yeah. All right. What energy is divine feminine in after dark hours tonight? All right. So angel of balance. Yeah. Divine feminine. This karmic could be throwing you off balance because they doing spell work or they getting readings on you or something. I saw. I heard, I picked. The, I saw the. I saw the the bracelet. It was green. This karmic could be dark skinned. And then I saw oil. I picked up oils. So this karmic is working with oils. Um, this karmic doing something. And that's why this angel of balance coming out in reverse. Or divine from this karmic could be an unclean spirit and it's trying to possess you. Or something like that. What's going on with this karmic? What's going on with this karmic? After that, I was tonight. What energy is the karmic in? The fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Yeah, this karmic definitely needs some healing. If this karmic is an entity, like an unclean spirit, divine feminine, this karmic trying to play on your heart space. Something to do with your heart chakra. Or this karmic. So yeah, this karmic want to work on your chakra or something. If it's like an entity or something. If this karmic is a person. um, This karmic needs healing. 
yeah, this karma needs healing. Something going on in the karmic's um heart space. The karmic could be trying to manif manifest money. Or divine feminine, this karmic could have stole some money from you. Because the karmic's heart chakra is like in the upright, so it's not it's not blocked or unbalanced. Or maybe, let me see something. Because this karmic probably want to cipher your energy. It's like divine feminine, this could be you. And this is in the karmic energy. And this is the karmic and the karmic in your energy. So let me see something. Angel of balance and reverse. Is this divine feminine? No. Yeah. The fourth chakra. Is this the karmic? This fourth chakra? Is this the karmic energy? No. Fourth chakra. Is this the divine feminine energy? Yeah. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. So, Divine Feminine, your heart, heart chakra is balanced. Divine Feminine, you could be healing from something. Or Divine Feminine, you're healed from something. Or you could just be in your heart space. Um, Divine Feminine, the heart chakra in the upright could also be telling me your finances is okay. And that could be the reason why the karmic want to um, steal from you. Or Divine Feminine, because you're healed... Your heart space is okay. Your heart chakra is fine. It's balanced. In the near future, divine feminine, you might manifest um, money, like a lot of like a financial blessing or a financial windfall, and that's why this karmic want to leech onto you. <clears throat> or this karmic just like wants to drain your energy. So it's like divine feminine, you all right concerning your heart chakra. You ain't got no hang ups, and it, your heart chakra is not out of whack, it's in the upright. And this karmic is just out of balance. And this could be the karmic's mental health. This karmic could be schizophrenic. Or this karmic insecure. Or it's like all this karmic care about is image, the outer appearance. And it's messing the karmic up. The karmic is all out of whack, off balance. 